So the other day my battery died on me. The two AA battery that came with the um, Xbox One controller, day one controller died on me. So today I went and bought myself a uh, Nyko charge base. It comes with two uh, nickel metal hydra battery. Um, I was debating between this and the Xbox Play and Charge, but I thought about it and I'm like, you know what, why buy the Play and Charge when I can pick this one up and don't have to worry about, um, you know, having to plug a wire in while I'm playing game. On this one, at least on the days or after I'm done playing, at least it has a base as a which will play the role of um, a storage place for my controller, you can say. Somewhere for me to set my controller so I don't have to worry about losing my controller or damaging it. Somewhere I know the controller will be safe versus the playing charge where I won't be able to talk to my friends. I, I know on the 360, I'm not sure about the Xbox One, but on the 360, um, you cannot chat with your friends while you're charging, so most of the time, guys who are charging the remote be like hey hold on guys I won't be chatting for a bit let me charge my controller so I don't like that I don't like that idea um, I'm having a hard time pulling this out right now but god damn it there goes a the battery oops god damn it F you now you're all damaged hopefully I can still return that if I need to so, instruction manual, uh, two battery, and like I said, this is for about $20, you know, versus the uh, play and charge kit, which is what, uh, $20, $25, and all you get is the USB cable, and you know, that USB cable, I could borrow the, uh, my cell phone cable, or I can borrow the uh, PlayStation <laughs> USB cable, so... I guess this one this is one advantage the Xbox controller has over the Sony controller is that you don't have to worry about the battery die. It's easy and it's cheap to replace. You can use a uh, two AA battery. So I am assuming this is how I charge. So oh my god, it's kinda of dirty. But anyways the controller sits in like this. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's try it out. Just so you guys have an idea. So right here in the back of the Xbox, this piece pop out. This is a two dead battery. Uh, this thing kind of blew up on me. It's kind of warm. I had it plugged in. Very dangerous, guys. Don't do that when you uh, are not playing. Do not plug that in. It can blow up if you don't charge the right uh, controller. So, the so it does need to go in like this, perhaps. Oops. Okay. Wrong size. So when you're putting this in. You want to make sure the pins are going back this way. Um, and then it just clips right into it like that. And there you go. This is where you would charge. Um, those pins will sit right in front of it. So, um, like I say again, I, as of right now, I don't see a, a purpose or a reason to buy two controllers. So I only have one. And at least you have a charge station or storage station to keep your Xbox controller so you don't have to worry about finding a place for it. And like I said, then I get a, I got an extra control, uh, I mean battery that comes with it for future purposes when I do get another control, which I will get another controller because I do not want to wear on my um, day one controller. Yes, yes. You all know the day one controller is the one and only. You cannot buy that. I don't know if Microsoft's gonna allow you buy that later. That of course that will defeat the purpose of the day one. The purpose of the day one is for people who reserve it on the day one. That's why we got the achievement in the day one controller. Maybe day one. Maybe they'll have like a day one uh, second generation. But um, thank you guys for watching this video. Give you a thumbs up and comments up welcome any comments are welcome but if you're wondering if you should choose between this and the playing charge i would highly recommend this over the playing charge um, i know how the uh, playstation work and the xbox 360 work 
I have never tried to play in charge on the uh, Xbox One. I'm assuming on the Xbox One you should be able to plug in the USB up here and perhaps uh, charge it and chat with your friend at the same time. But like I say again, the only thing is I'm thinking the, the Xbox One has to be on in order for you to um, charge the battery. Where in this case, I don't have to right after I play the game, I could just dock it right back in there and it'll charge for me and it'll be ready for me by the time I come back. Alright, I'm out.